Good morning, everyone. I'm Sang Geun Ang. Uh, today, we are going to learn about the meaning of Isaac. God commanded Isaac. God commanded Abraham, call him Isaac. Isaac, in Hebrew language, Itzhak. Itzhak means he laughs. He always laughs. Itzhak is a verbal form of name. It is imperfect tense. The imperfect tense uh, covers past, present, future. So we usually interpret he laughs always. So that's the meaning of it's hak. It's hak. Okay, so uh, this is a picture Abraham and Isaac. It's hak. And they are climbing up the mountain Moriah by the commandment of God. Okay, so Abraham was in mysterious test of God. So I might say all of us are living through uh, in special period of God's testing or God's refinement. So we are passing through the time of tribulation. So I wish you to understand the meaning of Isaac according to the ancient Hebrew language and um, may you be encouraged, may you be strengthened, may you find out the special will of God. Okay, Genesis seventeen nineteen. it is written, Your wife Sarah will bear your son and you will call him Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendant after me. Okay, what could be the meaning of everlasting covenant? Covenant of making high priest nation over all the nation. So this covenant is special. Uh, so God has planned to make the covenant people or high priest nation over all the people on earth. Okay, at this time, who can make us happy? Who can make us laugh? I might say in this day, no one can make me laugh. No one can make me laugh but you, my Lord. Okay. Everything is in trouble, but in God, there is a way of salvation. My Lord and Savior, be my God at this time. Okay, I wish you to look at this picture. Uh, do you see? The very old Abraham and very old Sarah, they received promised son Isaac. It's a very happy moment. I wish you experience this kind of happy moment in this time of pandemic. In God, everything is possible. Okay, Genesis 17, 16 to 21. Making God's covenant with a man of laughing. Man of laughing, Isaac. Okay, let me read. Okay, let us read together. I'll bless her and will surely give you a song by her. I will bless her so that She'll be the mother of nations. 17. Abraham fell face down. He laughed and said to himself, Will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah bear a child at the age of 90? 19. Then God said, Yes, but your wife Sarah will bear your son and you will call him Isaac. I established my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant to ordain the high priest nation for his descendant after him. 20. And as for Ishmael, 
are making fruitful and will greatly increase his numbers. 21. But my covenant for making the high priest nation, I will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear to you by this time next year. Okay, God gave Abraham a sure promise of God. And then uh, Isaac is going to be a, a covenant partner. Isaac, the one who is laugh, the one who is laughing, the one who is smiling. So uh, laughing or smiling one uh, is very important. It's okay. Are you smiling in the Lord? Are you laughing in the Lord? Oh, okay. Uh, or are you worrying? Are you crying? Okay. I wish you smile because God smiling at you. I wish you laugh because God makes you laugh. So when, when you experience getting answer of your prayer, then uh, you can laugh because God makes you laugh by giving answer of your prayer. This is the secret of our Christian life. Okay, now Abraham was tested by God. 22, 7 to 8. Okay, one time God made Abraham laughing, but another moment God made Abraham uh, worrying so much because at this time uh, Abraham was tested by God. So this is the Christian life. We experience up sometimes, but we experience down sometimes. So up and down is like a, a riding roller coaster. But uh, we are passing through uh, this kind of life experiences, but uh, no problem as long as we are in the Lord. Okay. Uh, Isaac was following father. Isaac uh, did not know what's going on. He questioned, okay, father, the fire and wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together, okay? Uh, now, two of us went on together. One person does not know anything about what's going on. So Abraham is thinking and thinking. And again and again, why God testing me in this way? Okay, Abraham was wondering why God would take away his prime son. One time God gave Abraham blessed son Isaac, but this time God commanded Abraham sacrifice him as a burnt offering. Why we must suffer this kind of pandemic? The answer does not seem clear to us. However, we must keep holding promises of God according to John 10, 7 and 11. Jesus said, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask, pray whatever you wish and it will be done for you. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Was there something wrong in my putting priority to God? Okay, at this time, we must check I must check my spiritual life, my daily life, my life attitude. I must check my life goal. I must check in every uh, aspect of my life. Was there something wrong in my putting priority to God? Am I lazy in reading Bible? 
And then what is the most important question is this, who is the owner of my life? Who is the owner of my life? Me, my parent? Who is the owner of my life? God. We must understand this for sure. Okay? At this time, um, many people lost their lives. Okay? They are gone. They are disappeared. They lost their life. Who is the owner of life? I? Can I keep my life? No way. God is the owner of my life. We must make it sure. God, the Lord, Jesus is the owner of my life. Okay? Okay, the name Isaac, uh, according to Hebrew dictionary, he laughs, okay? Meaning he laughs. It's a hack. But uh, grammatically, uh, it is imperfect tense of verb. Okay, imperfect tense, the significance of imperfect tense of verb is uh, explaining uh, it has, uh, it covers the meaning covers past, present, future, three dimension of uh, understanding. Okay, every word of the uh, every every Hebrew book, which is written in public tense, covers three dimension of meaning: past, present, future. So usually, in English Bible, we interpret "he laughs." Okay, so uh, by understanding what the ancient Hebrew picture letters describe, uh, I wish you to laugh. I wish you to smile once again. Chahak, uh, itzahak, comes from original the root verb chahak. He laughed. Okay, chahak, chade, khat, kof. According to ancient Hebrew pictography, chade. Okay, look at the chade, the picture. Uh, it is some some scholars interpret footprints of animal or footprints of bird, but according to this, uh, is a foot is a moving moving animal, moving chade, uh, moving and the chong moving ship, the living footprints as animal move forward, they leave footprints chade this the, the letter chade describes moving going or entering okay and the second cut this cut is different from hair hair the sound sound is made in the front part of mouth but uh, this khat, cultural khat, the sound khat, Strong hack made from the deep inside the throat. It is called guttural hack. Hat means temple. Okay, cough. Cough the, is the picture of describing uh, sunset. Sun is uh, remaining on the horizontal line. Or the round sun fall down. Okay, that's the meaning of cough. So it describes sunset hour, time of evening sacrifice. Okay, uh, time of sunset and sunrise, according to the Bible, the daily sacrifice was made. So it could be understanding, the cough could be understanding, evening sacrifice hour. So as the evening sacrifice were burn burning, all the people of God were praying, so it is a praying time. So attempt to interpret in this way. Number one, he moved, okay, he walked in, Jade. he moved, walked, and cut to the temple, into the temple, cut for what? 
to pray. Okay, this is the what ancient picture letter describes. Again, uh, so we we must understand in this way. Laugh, it's it's a hug. Isaac, it's a hug means uh, he smiles, he laughs. But uh, this picture letter reveals us how the people of God laugh. Okay. What could be the reason of making a laugh? Okay. So the reason, reason of happy life, reason of joy. Okay. The, uh, this is the significance of learning this ancient Hebrew letter. The grammatic function of Yod, it's a e. Okay, started from the, the letter Yod. Yod. Yod, function of Yod, grammatic function is as a prefix to a verb. Yod describing imperfect tense. Third person, imperfect tense. So he prays today, okay? She prays today. As he used to pray yesterday, and he shall pray continually in the future. Okay? So this is imperfect meaning. He prays today, he prays now. As he used to pray yesterday in the past. And he shall pray continually in the future, uh, which describes habitual acts of someone it describes habitual uh, praying of a devoted Christian. Uh, this is a hidden, the secret of God. This is a hidden revelation. Okay. What makes Christians laugh? What makes Christians smile? Prayer life. Okay. Habitual prayer life, daily prayer life. This is the significance of it's a hack. Okay, these ancient Hebrew picture letters reveal spiritual secret of how people of covenant are supposed to enjoy the fulfillment of God's covenant. How to enjoy fulfillment of God's covenant? Okay, by having, by having prayer life, 10% prayer life, daily prayer life daily devotion okay number one keep on following god's commandment every day and make the temple centered prayerful life every day okay pay attention to this word the temple centered prayerful life every day temple centered prayerful life every day if you are church building far from your house okay why don't you practice your own personal daily devotion in your room in your room okay number two when god's giving answer granted to you the joy of god makes you love as he promised okay one more time when god's giving answer granted to you the joy of god makes you laugh or smile as he promised god said john 10 11 my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete okay god is to give joy god is to give his joy my savior is to give me his joy heavenly joy so that my joy may be complete Okay, this is the word we can be encouraged in this pandemic situation. Three, no one, no one can make me laugh but God Jehovah. Okay, there is a singing, nobody, nobody but you. Huh? Nobody, nobody but you. No one can make me laugh but God Jehovah. Psalm 91, 11, 12. It is written, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that 
You will not strike your foot against a stone. Okay? Uh, are you worrying? Are you afraid of coronavirus? Are you worrying any the mishap? Okay, we must encourage ourselves by reading the word of the Lord. This is the wonderful promise of God. Okay, confess through the mouth of the Moses. Moses experienced so many tribulations, so many troubles, but he was able to complete his mission. Okay. He okay, let us let me read once again Psalm 91. He God will command his angels concerning you. It's about guardian angels concerning you, guardian angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Okay, God, God can guard me in all my ways. Guardian angels, they will lift you up in their hands, okay? So that you will not strike your foot against the stone, so that you will not experience any misfortune, you will not uh, experience any the unfortunate matters, unfortunate things at this time. Okay, look at the picture. Children are praying together with uncle or with Daddy, okay, two children, daughter and son, okay, they are crossing over a uh, very old, very old, what's the swing, very old, the, is, is bridge, uh, very, okay, very old bridge, almost, almost about to fall down. We are, we are crossing over very, uh, old, ragged bridge, but there is a protection of God. Okay, may you experience uh, the God's complete protection over you. May you experience the getting answer of your prayer. So may you be another Isaac. Okay, are you sure laughing in the Lord? Are you sure smiling in the Lord because? Uh, God prepared special grace on you because God granted special getting answer of your prayer. And this is the meaning of Isaac. Okay. God, may God protect you. May God bless you. Have any joy, have any peace be on you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Shalom, shalom. See you next time. Later on. Later on. See you next time.